Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars. And here's your latest uh, terrorist giveaway. Six Somali organizations in Minnesota have received grants to combat terrorism. So now we're uh, giving money to a lot of people who some of the people are causing the terrorism problem. Instead of going in and pl finding their bases and blasting them into atoms. They, they supposedly, ha uh, ISIS supposedly has a communication center that we won't touch because we're afraid to kill civilians. Well, screw them. Uh, one small nuke and it's done. Six organizations that work with Somali youth in Minnesota have been awarded $300,000 in grants as part of a federal project designed to combat terrorism. The nonprofit group that is administering the funds announced Thursday. This grant, the grant recipients include a youth sports program, a program that empowers Somali parents, an organization that plans to enhance youth opportunities and a group that addresses mental health issues for refugees. An additional $100,000 has been set aside to help with technical assistance, professional development, and other resources with the goal of keeping the programs going on their own in the future. How about turning them into Americans and how about uh, teaching them that terrorism is wrong no matter what? You don't go blowing people up for your own, uh, to advance your own agenda. Unbelievable. Marcus Pope, Director of Partnerships and External Relationships for Enterprise, non-profit administering money, said investing in youth development is crucial. No, bombing the uh, terrorist spaces back into non-existence is crucial. He said Minnesota is home to many creative and bright small youth. Many face formidable challenges including a sense of alienation, a search for identity as new immigrants, and unemployment and poverty that can open them to recruitment by extremist groups. So they come here, they don't learn English, they don't act like Americans, and you expect them just to uh, behave, apparently. I've known about this project for a long time. I did a, I did a uh, article on a uh, chat group, so I've known about it for a long time. This Minneapolis program called Building Community Resilience focuses on the state's large Somali community, which has been the target for terrorist recruiters. More than 22 men have left the state since 2007 and joined Al-Shabaab in Somalia, and roughly a dozen have, been, have left in current years to join militants in Syria. We are excited that Youth Prize has identified the first group of organizations which will make grants. This is an important milestone for the hundreds of Somali community leaders and volunteers who have worked on this effort for the past 18 months. So now we're supposed to solve, uh, pay them not to be terrorists. That makes a whole lot of sense. Let's try wiping out these terrorist organizations and getting some free enterprise back in this country so that we can, you know, these youths can own businesses and uh, support themselves. Let's try that. I just discussed it. We're paying them not to be terrorists. I have no words. It's not going to work. Money isn't the only thing that's attracting these uh, people to join ISIS by any means. A lot of them are 
pedophiles who uh, just want to rape and rape and rape. Because they're sick in the head. Alright, well, I'm on Facts Mars. More insanity from your government. Thanks for watching.